Okay, in this video we're going to talk about moving from Adobe Animate into After Effects. And the reason why you'd want to do this is because there's a lack of effects uh, inside of Adobe Animate. And maybe you want to add some effects to a scene or you want to do some finishing touches to something that you've been working on. So previously, in our Parallax uh, uh, video, we did a Parallax animation. So I want to bring that into After Effects and then add some snowfall or rainfall to that uh, scene. So here I am in After Effects. I'm going to go to File, Import. I'm going to import a file. And recently in Adobe After Effects, they've added the ability to import FLA files, which are Adobe Animate files, directly into After Effects. And what it'll do is it'll take all the layers from the Animate file and bring them in as a composition in Adobe After Effects. So I'm selecting the Parallax file that I created earlier, and I'm going to go ahead and click Open. And this file will take a little while to import. OK, so the Adobe Animate file came in as a composition. You can see the Parallax folder here that contains all the different levels. The levels are represented as Swift files. And if I were to double click on this composition, it would take me to the scene that we had in Adobe Animate. And you can see I have all the layers here. So in order to add the effects, what I need to do is create a new composition. So I'm going to go to create composition, new composition. I'll create a new composition is that 1920 by 1080. I believe the scene was five seconds long. So I'm going to make this five seconds. And I'll call this first scene snow since we want to add snow to the scene. And the background color doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then I'll take the parallax animation and drop it into the scene. So next we're going to add the snow effect. So under the effect menu in After Effects, you can see we have a huge amount of effects for all different types of purposes. Um, this is something that Adobe Animate definitely lacks and it doesn't have. So we can take full advantage of this. So I'm going to go to Effect to Simulation. And you can see that we under CC, we have a bunch of different types of uh, effects, including drizzle, rainfall, and snowfall. So I'm going to choose the snowfall effect. And what that's going to do is it's going to create this effect. And the effect is animatable. Um, you can already see, as I'm playing through this, you can see the snow particles falling in the background. So it's automatically animated. I'm going to make some adjustments to these settings. So instead of 10,000 snowflakes, make it 800. I'm going to make the size 15. Um, the variation of size is going to be 65. So we have a lot more variation. And the scene depth is going to be 5,000, which it is. The speed is 250, which it is. Um, the variation of the speed, I'm going to change that to 65. The wind is going to be 130. Um, the variation on the wind is going to be 20. The spread is going to be 25. And the opacity is going to be 75. Now you can see here this transfer mode is set to lighten. So it's automatically going to blend the effect to the scene. And if I go ahead and play through this, you can see that I have some snowfall now. And this is something that you could do and it'll be animated, but it would take a lot longer. So it's a lot easier to bring your uh, bring your um, Adobe Animate files into After Effects and then add the animation. So let's try this again with another effect. So I'm going to go to Composition, New Composition. And I'll call this one Rain. And I'll have the same settings and go ahead and click OK. I'm going to go back to my project panel. And double-clicking on Rain, I'm going to drag the parallax scene that I brought in from Adobe Animate in here. And again, I'm going to go to Effect, Simulation. And this time, I'm going to choose CC Rainfall. And you can see that right out of the box, it already gives me kind of the effect that I need. So importing into 
After Effects is a great way if you want to finish off a movie, you want to add some effects. Um, take some time to explore all the different types of effects that you have here. Those simulations are great for getting um, what you need uh, to finish off a movie. So spend some time exploring um, what you can do with After Effects.